yourself? What happened? Hmm? Nothing. Now, come along. You've got that certain look on your face, sort of, um... Smug. Smug. Mm. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm yeah, um, yeah. Nothing, really. You know, just, um, a little bit of business. You haven't spent all your money, have you? No. Oh, that's a blessing. You never stop, do you? Hope springs eternal. Oh, yes, but my money doesn't. That's why it is going into a safe home. A safe home? Yes. I have made the decision of a lifetime. You are now looking at the proud owner of half a racehorse. Congratulations. Half a racehorse? Mm. You're mad. Ah, that's what they said about Nero. Oh, yes, Waring. And Nero was mad. Oh, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with Griffin this morning? Oh, he's been in a very strange mood all day, sir. Yeah. He's having some trouble at home. Oh. Apparently, an old Tom has been having a go at his tibby. <laughs> <laughs> and he's having it seen to. As a matter of fact, I think he's going to do it himself. Really? Yes, sir. You know, the thing that I admire about you, Stuart Clark, is that you are consistent. Oh, thank you, sir. In that I can never understand one single damn word you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I must confess I do confuse myself at times. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure you do. Don't go wearing. I want a word with you. Miss Franklin, would you please excuse us? Uh, gentlemen's talk, you know. And go help uh, Griffin with his pussy. <laughs> now, Wally, this morning I had Sister Cummings in my office, and it was most embarrassing. Don't worry, sir, your secret is safe with me. And it will never slip from my lips. You can sir. rely on us? Shut up, Wally. She came into my office suffering from what appeared to be a nervous twitch. Well, that's very strange, as he acted a bit odd earlier on, sir. I think she's suffering from night starvation. No, Stuart Clark. What Sister Cummings is suffering from is Dr. Waring. You dirty rotter. What do I mean? Sister Cummings seems very concerned about your um, arrangement with Mr. Chalky White. Oh, uh, news travels fast, eh? That sort of news always travels fast. Yeah, well, I don't think there's anything wrong in it, sir. No, you wouldn't. In fact, I'm quite looking forward to it. Yes, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm sure you are. But there is the reputation of this hospital to consider. Well, I mean, it's only a financial venture, sir. In fact, it could be rather rewarding, in fact. I think he's right, sir. On reflection, I wouldn't mind a little dabble myself. <laughs> dabble? Yes, but surely you must have had the urge at some time or another. <laughs> I most certainly have not. Now, I always thought you were the sporting type. Not that sporting. Oh, well. One man's meat. There's another man's gravy. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? No idea. <laughs> Listen, where? Mm. As much as I... Excuse me now. Hello, Duncan Waring. Mm, thank God. Yeah, it's for you, sir. It's for you, sir. It's for me, sir. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, oh, blast. Well, keep him breathing until I get there. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Look forward to it, sir. <laughs> now, look here, Obin. About this race horse. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Looky there. Oh, lovely. Which half is yours? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> name of that old nag of yours? Moonboggler. <laughs> Moonboggler? Moonboggler. Moonboggler? Moonboggler. <laughs> How romantic. Yeah, well, it will be romantic when it wins on Saturday. It's 25 to 1 plus the prize money. You're not going to bet on it, are you? No, I'm going to play tiddlywinks with it. <laughs> tiddlywinks? Of course I'm going to bet on it, you burk. Yeah, well, I think you're mad. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, really? Mm. Well, I tell you that, hey, you just have a look at that there form. And then tell me I'm mad. Yeah, well, I suppose it does stand a fighting chance. Oh, don't throw yourself into a frenzy, will it? I'm very worried about you, you know. Yeah, well, don't worry about me. You know, as soon as I see the colour of the money, I shall be happy. But it's the strain of the whole thing. What strain? The strain of lying in bed at night wondering if he's comfortable in his stall, or if his hay's damp, or how many miles he's got left on his horseshoes. Oh, yeah, well, don't worry about that. I'm only going to pay for two of them. Mm. Oh, still a great worry. And a terrible expense. You know, you need someone to help you shoulder the load. I've got somebody to help me. Chalky. No, not him. Someone younger, more active. Well, like who? Well, someone, anyone. Me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I reckon we'll have to come round to that soon. You'll cut your cost in half, you know. How can it possibly cut my cost when you haven't got any money? Well, I do have a little bit stashed away. Oh, do you indeed? Oh, that's very nice. You stash your loot away and then you come and scrounge off me. And that's another reason why you should have me as a partner. Well, I'd be making a lot of money. You wouldn't have to lend me any more. <laughs> and why are you a millionaire? Because not enough people recognise my genius. Uh, right. Yes, I'm sure. So, you want a half share of my half share, eh? That's right. That's a leg each. Correct. <laughs> All right. All right. But you sign a contract with me. 
contract. Oh, yes, mate. Yes. I right. sign a contract with Chalky White. You have to sign one with me. All right. Right. All right. 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 All right. Right. Uh, I, Richard Stewart Clark, yes, being of sound mind and uh, feeble body, <laughs> do hereby declare my interest in the half share of Duncan Waring's half share of the horse Moonboggler. Uh, uh, to share all expenses and to take that same part in prize monies. Oh, I like that bit. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't. <laughs> and I also promise to pay the aforementioned Duncan Waring back all the monies I have borrowed off him in the last six months. Now, hang on. Your decision. Oh, all right. Right. And first thing in the morning when the bank's open. Now, hang on. Don't go so fast. Oh, come on. Where you got to? I, Richard. Mm. <laughs> uh, How can I write when you keep talking? Mm. I'm bloody awful. I'm eating out. <laughs> marvellous. Really marvellous. What is? These birds. Absolutely amazing. Uh, all is not lost, Morris. Oh, what superb tits. <laughs> Here we are. Got your money. Ah, give me, give me. 50, 100, 20, 40, 160. Ah, 65. Yes, well, there we are. That's two, four, and uh, 95 cents. That's all I've got. Yeah, hang on. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. I owe you five cents. <laughs> Sign there, please. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome, partner. Thank Come you. in. Miss Franklin, if that's a private call, it's been 12 minutes long and given me five minutes walk. Uh, Dr. Waring, your patient and friend, Mr. White, would like a word with you. Ah, thank you, sis. Miss Franklin, do please remember. Who's a naughty girl, then? <laughs> Telling Professor Bowman that little secret, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what was all that about? You think she's got a nice bottom? <laughs> <laughs> O-M-C-S. No, not S that. All that money changing hands and secrets. Oh, Duncan and I are starting a little business deal together. Really? Yes, yeah, could be worth thousands. Thousands? Mm, yes. We are part owners of half a little gold mine on four legs. <laughs> Have a look at that. Moonboggler. It's going to buy an awful lot of hot chocolate, that is. Yes, but horses could be an expense, though, I imagine. Oh, true, true. And all that feeding and grooming and saddles and all the other bits and pieces. Yes, it's only money there, isn't it, Griff? Oh, well, exactly the way I feel. I mean, I've got quite a bit stashed away there, but money doesn't buy happiness. Look, I don't... Well, I don't. No, I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ever felt the need for another investor, well, uh, I'd be quite happy to put up just two or three thousand, say. To well, that's very kind of you, Griffin, but I'm afraid we couldn't do that. It would be very difficult for the horse. Difficult for the horse? Yes, well, if it has more than one owner, you know, it would, uh, well, it wouldn't know who it was running for, would it? <laughs> well, of course, yes. But think it over. The offer stands. Of course, you would always lend me a couple of thousand, uh, but no, I suppose not. I don't know what to do about those two. Look, <laughs> 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 